All right, we just arrived in Goslar. And we're here to check out the Christmas market. It's supposed to be one of the best in Germany and it's a super historic city, so we're really excited. Follow us along to see what it's like. Gosler itself was founded in 922 and has ties all the way back to the Roman Empire. So not only does it have a beautiful Christmas market, but it has huge ties to history. First thing we got is a hot chocolate with cream. Perfect to warm up. Something really interesting about Goslar is it has one of the highest numbered of half-timbered houses here in Germany. And that's because during World War II, not a lot of it was destroyed because it was actually a prisoner of war camp. But just walking around the city, you're surrounded by these beautiful old houses. And especially with the Christmas market here, it really makes it feel like an old-timey German Christmas market in an old medieval city. see in Gosler when you're there is in the marked plots. The glockenspiel goes off at 9, 12, 3, and 6 every day and shows the town's famous mining history. It was time for us to get some warm Christmas market food. Mm. Wow, those are really good. Really remind me of Spain, actually. Um, and excellent with the garlic sauce and the extra onion. Next up was trying the famous local Harzer Bratwurst. <laughs> Alright, I've got the hearts of Robbers here. Oh, big bite. It's really good though. It has like a little extra pepper spice in it. If you know how the hearts of Bratwurst is different than a regular Bratwurst, let us know in the comments. Strolling around the Christmas market for a while, it was time to eat again. It tastes like garlic bread with cheese and mushrooms on top, so it's really good. Can't really go wrong. One of the more famous and ornate, but let's say unique, buildings in Gosler is the Kaiserwerth Hotel. It's right in the Marketplatz, and it's rather interesting due to one statue that doesn't quite fit with the rest. It's actually a man pooping out gold coin. It's definitely worth taking a glance to see if you can spot it while you're visiting Gosler. 
Now, if you saw our video of our first German Christmas market experience in Hanover, you'll know we loved the forest part of it. And lucky for us, Gossler had one too. So we're in the forest here in Gossler and have another hot chocolate here to warm up. darker it got, the more magical and charming the Gossler Christmas market became with all of its lights. Okay, so what we got here was something called a Schneeballen. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a dessert and it's popular at the Christmas markets in Germany. So I'm gonna give it a try. I guess I just bite into it. And messy. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, it tastes like a cookie. Um, and powdered sugar on top. This one's the original. <laughs> you have powdered sugar all over your mouth. <laughs> um, but it's really good. Hmm. This one doesn't have too much flavor, but yeah, it's a good sweet. Mm. <laughs> messy. All right, so Becca just took a bite of the Schneeballen. Now I'm gonna go for it. Schneeballen is snowball in German. Mm. It's like a fried dough. A hardened or something. Almost like a pie crust with sugar on the outside. It's not too sweet, but it's pretty good. It's not warm like a lot of the other things here at the Christmas market, so that's a little bit different, but it's good. We did get another flavor and they had a ton more, so I'm excited to try those later as well as at other Christmas markets we visit. Mm. <laughs> it's definitely messy. We just finished up with the Christmas market in Gosler. It was really cool. It was a beautiful city, just really old, especially compared to Hanover. Mm -hmm. And the market itself was great, even though it was a lot smaller. Make sure to subscribe so you can see other content about our travels in Germany, as well as living abroad. And we'll see you at our other videos. Bye.